remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. found this photo of the Pacific Ocean. I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there, and if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Artyom, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Bratucha, there are things to discuss. Hey, leave your work for the moment. Come to the bridge. Always keep their word. <laughs> that is true, Nastya. Indeed. <coughs> Don't worry, Artyom. Everything will be okay. Anna is strong. Oh, God. Oh, yo. 
Joshua here. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. We did examine the dam and reservoir. You have to leave the valley. As soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding. And if it gives, the valley will be washed away. And everything that remains will be deadly. Leave tomorrow. Or, even better, yesterday. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue at the council session. Even the pirates will have to obey if it passes. Just leave me a note so that I know which end of the world to follow you to once I'm back. With this, I have to bid you farewell. At least until tomorrow. Au revoir. Radios in the church, after all. But with Olga, even Satan himself wouldn't stop her, much less a stupid taboo. Conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What's we wrong with it? The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <sighs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and radiation wow. outside is almost Damn, as high as back in Moscow. It can't be a more uh, The shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably. So what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go Come together. Sir, no. right. first. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Academ Gorodok labs. Sahara's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That reminds There's a huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So gentle. Your missions are to search the Academ Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. 
Unlike the towns we beat. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, sir. Can you add more protection? <sighs> sure. Your man does have some lead sheets in store, but the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. <laughs> How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. Still, I can't help worry. It's such a huge risk. So many good people died from radiation exposure in the Hansa's railway crews. But Moscow had nothing on the radiation levels they are going to face. Nah, these people don't really care about risks. You know them well enough. Hey, tell me about that museum. I... When did you learn about it? Ah, well, I was always a railroad fan. Even when working in the metro. We had this experimental facility near Moscow where they, they tested all kinds of railway stuff. Lots of engines and cars ended up there, so they decided to make a museum. But only found a good spot in Novosibirsk. Wow! It's not that close, I'd say. Yes, not at all close. But they still got everything there, including the most curious engines from all over the country. And some 15 years before the war, the museum was open. I see. But why are you so sure there's a snowplow there? I know it, because they transported it there from Moscow. Ha! Oh, it's a great specimen. You like it for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm quite sure about that. Well, I guess I'll go. Tokarev might need some help there. Yes, he might. I still think we should look for that SETCOM center while we're at it. Where? How? There's a whole sector plotted out on the image. And look at its location. Sure, the Akadem Garadok is rather bad, but not too dangerous if we don't waste time there. That area, though. See? Sure, it's not the city center, but still, the only place we'd find there would be an early grave. We'll see about that. There's nothing to see. Do you think Colonel didn't send us there just because he forgot about it? Sure I don't. I understand. I'm not that dumb after all. Так, слушай, what are we even talking about then? The Colonel said the discussion was closed. They already decided everything with Artyom, and we must respect their decision and believe that it will all work out. Because we are what? Sparta. Exactly. So let us be good and go back to planning our route to that lab. All right. Look, I think we could avoid the main hotspot if we went this way. Maybe here. I'd rather deviate to the south. Okay, what next? Next, uh, here. Yeah, that could work. What then? Then over here. And from 
from there. Straight up there. Where else? Martin, I, I wanted to say... Look, I, I spent 20 years with you people. We almost burnt the planet down trying to kill each other once. And should be enemies, I guess. But, you know, when the Colonel took me from that crowd, when women and children beat me up, I was scared. I couldn't raise my hands. I'm not a beast. No, I sure was strong then. Renogen F, and she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she was a real doctor, unlike me. Katia, believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank you, Ayosha. I hoped I could help, but Anna's case seems to be extremely unfortunate. The gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already, but it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its air were naive. But even the valley in the end... Yes, air, water, in the forest. It's all there. But I'm afraid not for long. A pity. The people there are actually quite nice. We'd find some common ground. Is the dam in such danger? It is. But even if it could hold out for years more, a third of the valley is already polluted with radiation. All the fallout was accumulating at the bottom of the reservoir for years and years, and now it's seeping through. Yet if the dam fails, I hope she, they, listen to my advice. Do you love her? Yes. If it is fate, you'll meet her again, definitely. Well, I'll go check up on Anna. Sure. Tell her I said hi. Just being unfair. Colonel and you take the exciting mission, and we all get the boring one. If we all went together, we'd find what we need in half an hour tops, while with just two of you it's going to take forever. 
Ah, well, we'll finish our task in Akademgorodok and come help you. story before, but I'd like you to listen. You see, I had this Tokarev pistol. That fail-proof thing that had failed me once. It was a great gun. Powerful. Punched through any body armor you could still move in. But it only had eight bullets. And that just proved not enough. I came upon some bandits that were tormenting a family, and I just couldn't. So, I snipped, and got all of them, save for one. The fucker hit me hard. By the time the order people arrived, I was half dead. Thought they were angels. Anyhow, here's why I'm telling you this now. There are more of us now than I had bullets then. So, I'm sure we can take whatever the world throws at us, and win! Все, братуха, up for smoke, I see. 
I remember if I already told you about this. <coughs> we have all the kind of people I would need. And that the further I go, the less people were. Good. So here's what my take on this is now, Bratucha. I just wasn't lucky. And now with you and the others here, I figure I just hit a jackpot with so many good people together. Take Duke for one. He keeps boasting about how he's going to shoot enemies up, all that. In fact, when you two were at that bridge, he didn't kill the cultist. Didn't even shoot that uh, Silantius. And that is a shot I'd take in a heartbeat. So, what does that make him? A kind guy. That's what, yeah. Or uh, Damir. Uh, visiting his homeland was his dream. I thought he'd just stay there, especially since we took that barren bastard down. No. No, Damir still went with us. He couldn't just leave his friends. That's the caliber of a man he is. Alyosha too. I thought he was kind of uh, ruderless, but he found the love of his life. Imagine that. And did he stay with her? No. He cares for you and Anna enough to leave the girl and come with us to Siberia. It's going to be a while before he sees his orga again. So here's the main point. Bratuch, if you and the Colonel have people like this coming with you, this means our cause is right and we can take anything on, don't it? I bet you'd find a way to make it a boring chore. Like at that bridge. With the targets lined up like in a shooting gallery. But no, you had to spare those loons. <laughs> uh. In any case, if you need any help out there, just call us over. Am I right, Demir? Of course you are. We'll be there. Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me, believes in us, and for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us, we are finally approaching Novosibirsk, a dead city concealing her hope for life, the medicine that could save her, somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow. And now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah.
what you know. We're here. Novosibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged, too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me! Good luck. You can rely on us. So we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yurimak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Ah, I'm at the next Stefan! Chris, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora. <laughs> I've stayed to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. <laughs> Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. to you, Artyom. Watch out for the old man, will you? Break a leg, my friend. Good luck. You don't get carried away out there, because I know you. Good luck, Artyom. Just... Uh, good come luck, back. Brother. Good I luck. You both luck. I think Artyom. your destiny brought you here for a reason. The Aurora so you will be at the rendezvous point just have to do it So you can count on that, huh? is okay by comparison. Only about five times more radioactive than Moscow average. Fresh filters would actually protect us there, and we'd finish faster if they were with us. But what about the main building? What if we don't even have to go there? You see, my friend, if there's anything I learned about life during this trip, it's that nothing happens without a reason. The more important the goal, the harder it is to achieve. So what? So, if it's so much easier in the Akadem Garadok, that naturally means that our main goal is not in there, but in the center. But shouldn't we all go there then? Ah, Stepan, don't confuse informed risk-taking with recklessness. How many environment suits have we got? Two. And there's two of them. Yeah. Good, Good luck. Are you going out on a mission to save Aunt Anna? Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Of course. 
Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Drive at Teddy, mission acknowledged. Goodbye, Uncle Tom. Don't worry about Aunt Anna. Teddy and I will watch over her. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Anna is strong. She will win this fight. Just make sure you come back. Your gear, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here, so think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Artyom, promise me this one thing. You guys get there and back quickly. We cure Anna, and we all go back to searching for a place to live. Okay?
All those carriages stuck here. I failed evacuation efforts. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. The metro entrance should be there. Alright. Walking here would be easier. But we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. Definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artem. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. Move! There's no time to waste! This road should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. So much snow, and the storm is getting worse by the minute. Uh, weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? rising. The filters won't last long. Come on! Let's go! We have to move or we're done! 
Let's find a way to the city center. That's what I call a cave. Got any ideas on how we get into that tunnel? Through the carriage. I'll help you open that. Let's do this. Survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. Again. Going to have a go at us. Let them try, I say. The straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Art. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Squeezing through here. There's the passage. Move, I'll cover it. Hold on! Take this! Are you okay? Good. Oh, let's see how you like some of this!
run back home. And this metro is crawling with them. <laughs> I guess we can handle these. Watch out! It's all rotten! Don't fall in! Another dead end! The bridge is done! There are usually two levels in such collectors! Let's try to get through down there! Rather sharp. We could get out here! <laughs> and 
fear of the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? 8,000 kilometers away. I wonder if they were called spies too. These people died a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the ready. Come on, and watch out. Lucky as always. This isn't our metro. With nobody to help us here if anything happens. You break a leg, you crawl back to the Aurora alone. I can't turn back before I find that medicine! <laughs> Let's move. Just watch where you're going from now on. Hmm? We've lost enough time already. That leads to the tunnel. Seems solid enough. Let's go. We're in a station's outskirts. Wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war, after all. Hmm. They'd been defending with these armored trolleys. And when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other all. Are you all right? I'm seeing things too. Radiation. We did catch quite a lot of it. No 
another grave. This is where the battle ended. Let's check that gate out. It should lead to the next station. This is Sibirskaya, a line transfer station. Much dust abandoned a long time ago.
If we move forward from here, we should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel.
To run. Come on, speak up, soldier. Identify yourself. Private Krill Klebnikov, Oscar, Rapid Response Unit. And he won't get another word from me, so he can kill me now. Klebnikov. All right, friend. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oscar. Aren't you with them? Them? Yeah, I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course! Just one section to the Institute. We're close, our team. Wait! All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Our team is from the exhibition, and I'm from police. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! And we're done here. Private Klebnikov, you can come out now. Hey, where did you go? Did he just run? How are we supposed to find him now? 
We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here. Oh, he's alive. This was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. Was rioters. We had a war here, you see. We noticed that. you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on a mission, and there's nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, it's that the right map. This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM Center. A long time ago. So your father is on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Mm. Do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map, and we should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak. Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! Damn! Static again! Artyom, if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us! A chance to have a real life! I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then Wait, we'll go get the you car. can't go outside with that anti-rad. We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. Like my railgun. Keep it. It might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. Map is definitely shelf? more recent. Uh, tell me, Kirill.
How did you and your father end up the only survivors? The green stuff. The anti rat ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted, the committee sent in soldiers, the war broke out. And then, some died in combat, others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. Don't Aha! forget to restore Here some filters, Artem. Won't have time to do that later. As far as I understand, that ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes, that one! Then, you go through the station. Then, take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go.